the, the first, first day I realized I was black. It was 2000. We had just learned about blacks for the first time in second grade at recess. All the white kids chased me into the wood chanting slave. My mother said I refused to come out for three hours. Said she thinks I was lost in the trees, but I just needed to be closer to my roots. As, As a, a woman, woman, having a boyfriend is a battle. If 70% of us are abused in a lifetime, what is the number of men doing it? The answer is not one man running faster than light to complete a mission, and that is what leaves me sick. The second day I realized I was black was in a gas station. I only had 25 cents, so I searched what to spend it on. The cashier floated from aisle to aisle, eyes fixed on my hands. That was the, the first, first time, time I realized, realized skin, skin color, color was, was a crime. crime. My body has become calls to write legislation, calls for ass smacks in the back of a class. My body has demanded everything except respect. I've been asked, what makes you feel unsafe? And I struggle not to yell everything. everything. The third day I realized I was black was in an all-white cafeteria. I gathered my legs under me, made rockets on my feet, and approached a girl. She told me she was not into my type of guy. I felt the words shoot daggers into my melanin. I have never wanted to disappear so bad. As a woman, I've learned to answer to everything except my name. Little lady is not said to mean equal, but to make sure I remember my place. I battle between wanting to own my body and accepting there is a one in four chance. A man will lay claim to my skin, a plot of land for the taking. The last day I realized I was black was in an elevator in California. To the white woman that told me she knows what it feels like to be black because she grew up poor. I, I would tell, tell you to think, think before you speak, speak but, but your mind has got to be bacteria infected and any filter through that labyrinth of nothingness might be worse than no thought at all there's a group of women going around the room sharing their personal definition of feminism he is the only man in the room and all of a sudden the tone switches to destroying the patriarchy by annihilating all men do you know what it feels like to be black to pop lock your way in and out of hugs it is not a problem you want to sympathize but, but to, to tell, tell me you know, know my pain, pain is to stab yourself in the leg because you saw me get shot we have two different wounds and looking at yours does nothing to heal mine never will i turn away an ally but when a man speaks on my behalf that only proves my point movements are driven by passion not by asserting yourself dominant by a world that already puts you there you, you speak, speak to no pain, pain you only fathom because, because we told you it was there, there. You, you know nothing of silence until, until someone, someone who cannot know, know your pain tells, tells you how to fix it every day is a crucifixion when there is no regards for life Cross. I fight so my voice can be heard. I fight for the voices you silence all in the name of what is right. The, the problem, problem is, is you assume this struggle is attached to a social class. I am black and bold and beautiful by nature. Ain't no income that can change that. The problem with speaking up for each other is that everyone is left without, without a, a voice. voice.